Held in the auditorium of the club, the ceremony sought to highlight and recognize the achievements of the cricketers in 2016 while expressing gratitude to the large band of supporters of the club. The best all-rounder of the year, which is seen as the major award, went to Imran Hassan, who chalked up 413 runs and captured 12 wickets. East Coast Demerara franchise player Gavin Mariah finished with the most wickets, 28 from 13 matches, including a best of 6 for 18. Promising young talent Rudolf Singh emerged with the most runs, 434, and was also adjudged the most improved player of 2016. The best batting performance prize went to another East Coast Damrara franchise player, Vishwanath Ramlakan, who scored 114 and 87 during the period under consideration. The best bowling performance of the year went to Chandraban Simangal for his 7 for 35 in a must win game against Enterprise B in the SPR 40 over competition, while the most consistent player was the off spinner Satish Jainarain, who captured wickets in 75% of the matches he played and was voted the club's MVP in the two finals in 2016. Nandram Ganesh was unanimously voted by his teammates as the most disciplined player, while Jainarain was named most promising player and a club captain, Bhimra Dram Kelawan most committed. Special awards were also given to caretaker and groundsman Deolal Rajkumar, treasurer Tahal Ganesh for his outstanding and selfless contribution to the club and the club's number one fan Narain Singh who attended almost all the games during the past year. Meanwhile, chairman of the club Tejnot Jadunat told the gatherings that the club will collaborate with schools in the Enmore area to recruit new members. He added that while the year was generally successful, there were some challenges, some of which were internal. It will be further accurate to declare that the Enmore Cricket Club has been providing the people of Enmore with an avenue for recreation. Yet some people, who should know better, would not even grudgingly give us some recognition for that. But we will continue to do what we have to do. My disappointment is twofold. One, we're not getting young boys to come to the center regardless of which sporting interests they may have. Whether the reason is school lessons, television, or their cell phone. And seeing a frightening situation, and I hold many parents responsible for that. Two, some of our current players think that they are too big to be actively involved in activities to raise funds for the club. But the same persons accept, expect that the club should carry their match expenses. Club captain Bhimra Dram Kelawan stressed that the club's mandate to rid the streets of Enmore of youths who continue to engage in unwholesome activities has been met by several stumbling blocks. Mr. Chairman, the environment that we operate on has become one of uncertainty. This is one of the reasons why parents are reluctant to send their kids to the center, and our club has been at the receiving end of this uncertainty. I dare say that this is a result of the lack of leadership from other clubs who operate here at this venue. A small group of persons are allowed to intimidate our young members, and for that matter, no one's on school. I wonder if the time will ever come when all I'm going to stand up for a vote. Meanwhile, the club will have its AGM later this month, while there will be a renewed drive to increase the membership, even if it means recruiting players from outside the village. Reporting for Newsroom, I'm Avanash Ramzan.